Hey everybody, it's me again, the one you love to hate. Uh, I'm making this video because since it's shooting down in Florida, I get so aggravated when people who don't know what they're talking about when it comes to guns start talking about assault rifles. You people don't have a clue at what an assault rifle is. The AR-15s that you can buy in this country are not assault rifles. The two letters in the, in the name of that gun, AR, does not stand for assault rifle. It stands for Armalite rifle. Armalite rifle is the one that designed the M16 for the military. The M16 has three options on it. You can shoot fully automatic, you can shoot three round burst, or you can shoot semi-automatic, which means you're going to send one bullet every time you pull the trigger down the barrel. An AR-15, it looks just like an M16, but there's the part of the gun that controls the speed of how fast it will fire is called the lower. The lower is not the same as the lower that's on a M16. It's completely different, completely different trigger system and setup. It will only allow you to pull the trigger once and shoot one bullet. It will not allow you to pull the trigger once and fire 30 rounds. It won't do it. You're not gonna do it, not with an AR-15. It aggravates the crap out of me because you people think an assault rifle is a, a semi-automatic rifle. They've hunted with semi-automatic rifles forever since the first semi-automatic rifle came out. Just because it's got the AR and that's a platform, it doesn't stand for assault rifle. The AR style rifle is a platform only. It's because you can change the, just like an M16, you can put different length barrels on it. You can put uh, you can put different kinds of sights on it, different kind of butt stocks on it. You can put forward grips. You can uh, put rails on it so that you can put lights and lasers, and you know uh, it, you can make that gun your own. You can customize it to be what you want. If you want a short barrel, you can take the barrel out. You can put a short barrel. You know, 18 to 22, if you don't want a 28 inch, or uh, you can set it up to be a sniper rifle like, or you can set it up to be something that you would use in close combat. That's the M16. That's why it was designed the way it was. The AR-15 is a sporting rifle. It was made by the same company, Armalite, and it was built in order because there was enough citizens that saw the M16, they wanted something similar to it. But at the time when it was designed, uh, fully automatic machine guns were illegal in the United States. They're no longer illegal, but you gotta have certain licenses. You gotta have permits, you got the guns themselves, fully automatic machine guns cost a lot of money. So if you don't have a lot of money, you're not gonna own a fully automatic machine gun in this country, although it's legal to have. Most people don't have them. Uh, you can buy an AR-15 right now for roughly five to 500 to, depending on how much you want to spend, $2,600, I guess, you know, depending on how you want it. If you're gonna build it yourself or if you're gonna have somebody build it or just buy it, uh, you know, come from the factory the way you want to order it but just a stock AR-15 with no rails just a regular butt stock on it not adjustable you know just your normal uh, sights that came on the gun you can buy them for under 600 bucks um, but they are not and I repeat this they are not an assault rifle uh, you've got your Ruger 1022s that are little guns that kids have shot for years that are semi-automatic you can you can buy them they might not come with a 10 round clip or magazine or they might you can buy the 25 30 round magazines for them 
and they're semi-automatic too. Just because they're semi-automatic and you got a 30 round magazine in it does not make it a an assault rifle. Um, there's the Mossberg 715 is a 22 uh, long rifle caliber semi-automatic rifle that looks just like an AR-15 but it's basically a plastic body around a regular 22 Mossberg rifle. That's it people. Every time I hear somebody call an AR styled platform whatever you want to call it rifle an assault rifle it makes my head explode because that just proves you don't know what it is you don't know the difference between an assault rifle and one that ain't um, please before you go and push your Congress people and everybody to have these rifles taken away because you have no clue about what you're talking about. Learn something. Pick up that phone. Go to the internet. Look at these guns. They're only scary because you don't even know what they are. They're just a rifle. That's it. We've had rifles in this country for years. Hundreds of years. You got to get over this crap, people. A semi-automatic weapon, it's, it, they make them in pistols, they make them in rifles. A pistol, I've had, you know, many pistols that my last, uh, I had a Beretta 92 SF, held 16 rounds in the magazine, one round in the chamber, that's 17 rounds, and I could shoot it just as fast as you could shoot an AR-15, but it was a pistol. Now that gun, you can hide in your pants. You can hide it in your pocket. You can hide it in your sock. An AR-15, you can't hide. You can't hide it like that. These people are great taking these guns, AR-15s, and I don't care how short you make them. If you got it, if you got it hidden under your doggone jacket or inside your coat or something, because hey, you ain't gonna put it in your pants. You're not gonna put it in your back pocket. You're not gonna put it in your front pocket. If you're walking into a school or a business or a mall and you've got an AR-15 and you're planning on shooting the place up, plus, let's say, what, at least three or four mag uh, magazines full of bullets, that's hard to hide. Somebody's dropping the ball here. It's going to take... An idiot not to see or to allow somebody to walk by them with an AR-15 and three or four or five magazines that you can't hide them hardly either. You'd be, they'd be sticking out of your pockets and everything else. These ki these people are walking into these schools and there's you can't tell me nobody's seeing them walk in. That's why I don't believe these shootings were anything more than a training exercise that went live. Now, I don't know if these kids died in that school, but I can't believe what the government's telling me because I can't believe nothing they tell me. So you got to wonder what the hell's going on. How are these people getting into these schools and getting into these nightclubs and getting into these, where you know, wherever, that motel in Vegas with 20 of these kind of rifles and nobody knew it? Sorry, people, it don't work that way. It ain't that easy to hide. Do some research, people. I've said that a thousand times, and I'll say it a thousand more. Do some research before you just jump on a bandwagon. I've owned these guns. I've owned AK-47s, and I've owned AR-15s. All of them semi-automatic, and they ain't no different than just a regular Mossberg 308 rifle that you would use, even that you would use for hunting. Or uh, a 30 out 6 or a semi-automatic, um, you know, it, any rifle. I mean, the, all, most of these rifles come in semi-auto form. Either that, they're either semi, they're either bolt action or they're pump or they're uh, lever action. 
I mean, that don't make them an assault rifle, people. It don't constitute an assault rifle because it's got a forward grip on it or a pistol grip on the where the trigger is or an adjustable buttstock or a scope or a rail on it to put a light and a laser or whatever. That does not constitute an assault rifle. An assault rifle is a fully automatic machine gun used to assault used to like assault a machine gun uh, nest or assault an area where there might be a lot of uh, combat enemy enemy combat combatants or whatever it, that's where you get the name assault rifle you're going to make an assault on these people and you need to take down as many people as you can as fast as you can these, guys, these assault rifles are put out at 900 rounds a minute if you can feed them that fast enough an AR-15 if you can change, wet, change the magazines fast enough you might be able to put out 150 rounds in a minute if you're fast enough right, pulling the trigger slap, dropping a clip, magazine slapping another magazine cock it and then pull the trigger 30 more times drop that magazine slap another magazine in cock it and pull the trigger 30 more times you might get off 150 rounds that does not constitute an assault rifle people and for you to even be good enough to, to hit people trying to shoot that fast or hit a target trying to shoot that fast takes a lot of training. So people, get over this crap. It's not the gun that killed anybody. You can lay a loaded gun on your porch and leave it there for a year and it will not kill anybody. It takes the idiot to pick it up and point it at somebody to pull the trigger to make the gun go off. Even at, even if you can drop it and it goes off. The gun didn't do it. It was the fact that you dropped the damn gun and it went off. So most guns don't fire if you drop them, but there are some out there that are cheaply made that will. Shoot, most guns like Glocks and stuff have three or four safeties on them. They're built into the triggers and stuff that you can you can drop them. You can use them like a hammer and they won't go off. So Berettas are another. They have where you can turn the firing pin where it will not fire no matter what you do. You can run over it with a tank. You can blow it up with a yeah, The bullet will not fire. So please do some research, okay? Stop aggravating the people that know what's going on just because you don't. I'm done this time. Until next time, people. Be good.